What's up, Miami Valley? Lydia Bice here from our Dayton 24-7 Now podcast studio, and I'm back with another edition of our Dayton Download, but this time it is Valentine's Day themed. So you can see I have my little decorations. I've got a little love gnome in the back, some pink and red lights, and I'll be telling you about some fun things you can take your significant other or your friends or whoever out to do for the big holiday. So let's get into it. All right, let's start with our first and potentially most important event in Dayton for Valentine's Day. Valen Wine Day is February 9th at the Schuster Center in downtown Dayton. It's from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. and they will have over 30 different wines you can sample. 30 different wines and you get a souvenir tasting glass. You get your own glass to take home to try all the wines. And they also said they'll have specialty chocolates, live music, and light snacks. All these things are right up my alley. It sounds like a fantastic time. So I'm utterly devastated that I will be working that night. It's a Thursday night, so I'll be here at Dayton 24 seven now. But if any of you attend, you have to let me know. Also, they're having a retail station where you can pick up a little souvenir of the night for yourself or your significant other or whoever. So it sounds like a super cute little date night idea. Again, it's a Thursday night, but it's, you know, leading up to the weekend or just like all the girls want to go, whoever. It is $55 for general admission, $85 for VIP status, which I'm dying to know what all comes with the VIP status because it already sounds like a great enough experience to me and $10 for a designated driver. So if you just want to go and hang out with your friends but don't want to drink, it's only $10. So it sounds like a good old time. Sounds like a good deal they have. I should probably mention you must be 21 years of age or older to attend. I thought that goes without saying, but I'll throw it in there just in case. But seriously, send us some pics at Dayton247 now on Twitter or Facebook because you'll be living in my honor there and I'd like to see, you know, what it looked like, how it all went and stuff. So shoot us some pics and let me know if it was fun and if you liked it. Now, how cute is this? Do you want to learn the basics of decorating sugar cookies? Or maybe a cute option for date night or girls night out or whatever else for Valentine's Day? Well, Rachel Bakes, which is a bakery on Alex Bell Road in Dayton, is hosting a Valentine's Day cookie decorating class, which I think is beyond adorable. I think it's so cute. So it's on Friday, February 10th, the day after our Valen Wines Day at the Schuster Center. So you can hit up both if you want to. Get your booze on Thursday night, go decorate some cookies on Friday. Sounds like a win-win-win to me. So yeah, it's from 6 to 8 p.m. on Friday, February 10th at Rachel Bakes. And you'll be walked through the steps to create six beautifully decorated cookies with no experience required. And at the end of the class, you can even take home an at-home kit with six more cookies and all the supplies that you need. And you can take some more cookies home to decorate, which I think is just super cute. This would have been like the cutest thing for like my mom and I to go do when I was younger. I know they said ideally I think they want people like ages 13 and up like they don't want like little kids running around screaming I don't think but yeah I think 13 and up is what they said so but no that would be like the cutest thing to just go do on a Friday night decorate some cookies together so yeah couples date night like I said girls night out whatever you want but um like I said, at the end of the class, you can purchase an at-home kit to decorate some more cookies at home. And general admission tickets are $65. And again, the address is 101 East Alex Bell Road in Dayton from 6 to 8 p.m. on the 10th. Okay, so if cookie decorating isn't your cup of tea, I've thought of yet another little cute Valentine's Day date night idea or girls day idea, whatever. It's going to the movies, which I love. I love going to the movies. It's like one of my main hobbies. My boyfriend even told me the other day, he's like, I never really liked going to the movies before, but we go so often, like I make him go so often, like I'm truly a fan now. I like going. He's like, we need to get the membership where you can get discounts on the popcorn and stuff. I was like, oh, wonderful news. But yes, Titanic, James Cameron's multi-academy award-winning film, is celebrating its 25th anniversary. So it is now being remastered and coming back into theaters. So that's what I think you all should go see for Valentine's Day. Wonderful chick flick, I know, but a romantic movie, devastating at the end, but 
romantic, good. Now, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be putting myself through it. My birthday is the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, and I don't know that I need to be like sobbing in the movies my birthday weekend. Maybe I'll go like a couple weeks after or something if it's still in theaters, but you all should, especially if you haven't seen it. I'm not gonna, you know, tell anything about the ending, but I highly suggest seeing it, so. But yeah, um, also, I really like the movie theaters. This is the perfect place to go see this. The movie theaters that serve the food and drinks like to your seat while you're in the movies. So the Sinopolis Luxury Cinemas at Austin Landing in Miamisburg, they'll bring wine and beer and nachos and whatnot to your seat. So the truffle fries there, those are those are my cup of tea. The, they put little like Parmesan cheese crumbles on it, a little like garlic dipping sauce. Oh, phenomenal. So that's why I recommend you go see it. But if you do, let me know. I'm sure it's just as wonderful as when it came out in theaters 25 years ago, but sad. So let me know. Now, I know I've been going on and on and on and on about the most lovey-dovey day of the year. So I have a sports story for our guys watching. Now, former Reds third baseman Scott Rowland has been elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Super exciting stuff. So he appeared on 297 of 389 ballots to join Fred McGriff as the newest inductees into the National Baseball Hall of Fame, and they'll be inducted on July 23rd. So exciting stuff. And in case you don't know, Rowland played in the MLB from 1996 to 2012 and finished his career with our wonderful Cincinnati Reds from 2009 to 2012. Now I'll say he was on my favorite era of the Reds, at least obviously in my lifetime. The like 2010 National League MVP Joey Votto era, right up my alley, loved it. My family is like severe, chronic, die-hard Cincinnati Reds fans. So my dad had season tickets growing up and I, well, I was all about it, all about it. So yeah, he was one of our beloved third basemen, a great era back then when uh, we made it to the playoffs a couple years in a row, I think 2010 and 2012. Um, so yeah. But he made the All-Star team seven times during his career, which is pretty impressive. And if you find this story on our website, Dayton247now.com, there's a video embedded into it of his mom. Like, find, she found out the good news that day, I guess. And, like, he comes into the kitchen and she throws her hands up in the air and, like, gives him a hug. It's, like, the cutest thing I've seen in a very long time, so you'll have to go check it out. But big congrats to him and at the Reds. Hey, spring training starting up pretty soon, so you guys better be getting ready and bring us another playoff run like you did back then or something, because they've been a little disappointing lately, so. Speaking of Cincinnati, and I know I've mentioned our queen, Hippo Fiona, and at least, I think, two Dayton downloads because we're all obsessed with her, especially in our newsroom here at Dayton 24-7 now. Well, her sixth birthday just happened. Everyone just celebrated her sixth birthday. Do you wanna know how she celebrated? She chowed down on a fruit cake to celebrate the special day at the zoo. The fruitcake had strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, I think. So she chowed down on that. And the treat is an annual tradition for Fiona, whose survival was in jeopardy when she was born premature. So look at her now, surviving and she's thriving. She was extremely underweight when she was born too, but look at her, six years old, eating a fruitcake on her birthday. And the zookeepers also said that her favorite treat is lettuce. So after her little birthday cake, they gave her some lettuce too. But there's a video of her mom, Bibi, bursting into the celebration and she starts eating the cake with Fiona. I don't know if she wanted to share. So whatever, but I hope she enjoyed her special day. We all love her to death. And yeah, she's in everyone's hearts in the greater Cincinnati, Dayton, area maybe even the whole country well that's all i have for you guys here on this valentine's day edition of our dayton download here on the dayton 24 7 now youtube page you can follow us across social media at dayton 24 7 now and find all of the stories that i mentioned on our website dayton 24 7 now.com so i will see you next time for maybe i don't know should i do a saint patrick's themed uh, ed edition of Dayton Download next month. We'll put some green lights up and a leprechaun in the back or something. 
I don't know, stay tuned, but have a happy Valentine's Day and a great month of February.